Today's video is going to be pretty quick and it's also actually going to be pretty useful, especially if you make videos that have audio, which I hope you do. In this one, I'm going to show you how to normalize your audio levels as well as apply a multiband compressor to a whole audio channel inside of Resolve 16. First things first, we're going to need a song. So I'm going to grab one that I've downloaded from Epidemic Sound and then I'll show you how to do these effects on top of this song. Most of the time I use this on dialogue, but a lot of the time the, um, the peaks and the valleys and the dialogue are not as illustrative of the things that I'm trying to show you in this video. So uh, I'm going to use a song because they're a lot more dynamic. Found this one on my hard drive, Tropic Breeze. As you can see, it's pretty loud. And if we give it a playback, it's pretty loud. I would say that this is normalized to probably zero decibels, which is a lot of punchiness, especially when it's that loud so often. So what we're gonna do to make this more of like a background music type vibe is go ahead and right click on it, come up to normalize audio levels, click on that. And then generally what I do is I choose true peak right here. And then depending on what it is, I normalize my, uh, my dialogue, my audio from my voice to negative one decibels. And I normalize my intro music and outro music to negative 10. And then I normalize my background music to negative 20. And then I actually take more off of it in these little mixers down here. And I'll show you how to do that too. So it will normalize to negative 20 because that is actually where it caps out. If we try to do negative 25, it'll do negative 20. So I'll hit normalize. And you'll see that all those peaks shrink down and now the loudest this song is at any point the loudest peak is at negative 20 decibels but a lot of the time that's still going to be too loud for your dialogue so we'll give this a listen real quick so you can see how much it's changed since last time so it's not nearly as loud this time as it was last time but it's still probably gonna be a little bit too loud if you're trying to put voices over it. It's gonna be a little bit distracting. So then you can just come over and grab whatever channel this is on, so in this case, audio one, and then just go ahead and drag that down until it meshes well with your audio. Generally, you want this about 30, 25 to 30 decibels below where your actual speaking voice is. So if you're talking and you're peeking around, negative five on average or something like that, you'll probably want to be hitting negative 20, negative 25, maybe even negative 30, somewhere in there, in order to have that background music not be distracting from your actual speaking. Another thing that we can do to make this even better is use a multi-band compressor on this thing. So when you pop this on there, it brings the quiet parts up and the loud parts down so that everything is more even. Again, this is something you're gonna do on your vocal tracks, but I'm gonna illustrate on the song because it's gonna be so apparent on the song. So we'll go ahead and close this. We don't need to change anything in here. We just need to put it on there and close it. Now, if we listen to it, it's more even throughout. It brings those peaks down and those valleys up and just meets them in the middle. That's it for today's video, how to normalize at a compressor, generally just make your audio more palatable to the ear. I hope this helps improve your videos and I will see you tomorrow.